A sentencing hearing for a man who admitted killing a pizza delivery driver in 2015 was so emotional, multiple people broke down in the courtroom this morning in Lexington. That's right. Steve Butera joins us now live from the courthouse with more on the powerful statement from the murder victim's family, as well as from the family of the man being sentenced. That's the focus of today's LEX 18 Big Story. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, guys. About half an hour ago, we learned from the court how long that Trey Welford will be spending in jail. It'll be 31 years, 31 years from that 2015 murder. But what was surprising going on inside the courtroom, as you're seeing right now, family members leaving the courtroom right now. Obviously, a very powerful, powerful couple of hours here inside of court. Uh, learning about the sentence and learning about how long that Trey Welford will be spending uh, spending time in jail. All of this, of course, uh, involving the situation that took place back in April of 2015 involving Salah Hudden Jitmood. He was a pizza delivery driver found stabbed to death at an apartment complex back uh, just more than two and a half years ago. Now, during the sentencing, there was a uh, powerful statement from the family, who the family of the victim, who says that they forgive the man. They forgive the 24-year-old. He at one time was facing charges of complicity to murder, robbery, and evidence tampering. He did, uh, the uh, last one had a guilty, uh, decided to plead guilty on lesser charges with that. He told the family about maybe 20 minutes ago, and I quote, there's nothing I can really say. I'm sorry about what happened that day. I cannot do nothing to give that back to you, end quote. And then if you're looking at a picture right now, you might be able to see a picture of the suspect, again, Trey Welf, uh, Relford, hugging the family of, of, uh, of the victim. Again, uh, that was 22-year-old uh, Salah Hudden Jitmood. Again, back again live right now. A very powerful uh, few minutes that have taken place inside of uh, circuit court here. And I just spoke with one lawyer a little bit ago here. And he says in his 22 years of practice inside this building, inside of Fayette County, he says he's never experienced anything like what we saw here today. You're going to hear those powerful statements from both the victim's family and the suspect's family. We'll have that for you tonight on LEX 18 News. Again, people are leaving court right now after this very powerful morning here inside of District Court or inside of uh, Circuit Court, excuse me. But now we're covering the news live in Lexington from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom. Back to you.